Hey guys, and welcome back to Mo's Barbecue. On this video, we are cooking on the new 2017 Kamado Joe Classic. We're gonna be making some Chicago beef sandwiches. So let's get going. All right, what we got here is a, a beef chuck roast. Now I know the Chicago style beef, they use usually use a top round, bottom round, a sirloin, but I like the marbling on a chuck roast. It's gonna make it real tender, make the, uh, you know, the, make the, the sandwich more flavor. So what we're gonna use to coat our meat here is some Killer Hogs AP rub. We're just gonna give that a good liberal seasoning. Go ahead and let this hang out. Let's go ahead and get the Kamado Joe lit up. All right, so here we have it. This is the Kamado Joe Classic. It's an 18 inch Kamado grill. They also make them in the, uh, the Kamado, you know, the big Kamado, a little bit larger than this, also a little bit smaller than this. This is sort of the middle of the ground, which in my opinion, is perfect size. It, it will cook a lot of great food on this. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this thing open. Love that handle on that. We got our uh, mesquite in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a torch. Get this lit up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and toss a few pieces of some hickory. We're gonna give this about 15, 20 minutes to come to uh, temp. All right, so we let this sit for, I don't know, a good 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the racks. Go ahead and add in our deflector plate. I'm gonna go ahead and add a small pan. This will help just with the drippings. Get our rack in place. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. Go ahead and open this uh, about halfway and for the bottom vent, maybe about a half an inch. We're gonna bring this up to about 275 and then we'll go ahead and start adjusting the vents. Now, since this is my first time cooking on it, it's gonna take me a little while to, uh, to get this dialed in, but I'm sure we'll have no problem. All right, I got this thing holding right at 275. Go ahead and work quickly and we'll get our beef on. All right, we're gonna get this to internal, internal temp about 130 degrees, so I will see you there. All right, we reached our target temp. Let's go ahead and pull it. All right, so here's our beef chuck right off the Kamado Joe. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this in cellophane and put this in the fridge and chill it up a little bit. This will help slice it really thin. All right, we got our slicer all set up. We're gonna slice this nice and thin. We are at the point where we can make ourselves a sandwich. I got some nice uh, sub rolls here. We got our meat all sliced up thinly. I also got some sauteed uh, green peppers. You can do green peppers and onions, but you know, we're trying to keep this somewhat authentic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our, some of our meat, nice big chunk of it. What I got here is some beef bouillon with some water. And traditionally they use beef bouillon, bouillon from what I hear. So we're gonna warm up our meat. We're gonna go ahead and grab our 
beef here and we're just gonna pile it on. Make sure we get a lot of that uh, juice sauce on here. Get some of our bell peppers. All right, so here's our sandwich. Let's slice this bad boy up. Bottom bun is nice and soggy. Let's get a bite. That is crazy good. I love that. That smokiness, the bell peppers, you know, add great flavor. That au jus makes the bread nice and soggy, really flavorful. This is a killer sandwich. Now, I've never had a Chicago real beef sandwich before, but if it's anything like this, I know it's killer. That Kamado Joe cooked perfectly. It was my first time cooking on it, but it was very easy to control. Got the temp up and held solid. I'll be using that thing a lot more. Remember guys, give this a try, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next run. Thanks for watching.